Good morning, family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We bless the name of the Lord. Good morning. We bless the name of Jehovah. <clears throat> Ah, we serve a mighty God. Good morning. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. We serve a mighty God. Good morning. Good morning. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The Bible says that the righteous run into it and they are saved. The name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless morning. God bless you. We're still in prayer for these hurricanes and storms and all that is going on. Been watching it this morning on the news. You know, don't look like it's one. Looks like there's another one. The Lord help us. Whatever the message is out of this, that the people of God will capture what the Lord is saying and will run with it. Amen. In Jesus' name, we serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. It's three. We serve a mighty God. I just want you to, I mean, you know, I, I've, I've heard about Cuba and uh, the as it, Turks and Caicos and all the other places which are going through, you know, the devastation right now. I think Antigua, you know, the Caribbean islands. You know, these are places that, are known for you know uh uh vacation spots you know like people go away to relax people go away to enjoy themselves and right now most of those places are devastated and you know because most of these places rely on uh you know they rely on um on uh on uh you know tourism that's the word i'm looking for that's their chief economy you know that's what brings in the most money so, you know, when they become devastated like that, you know, it takes time for it to get back on its feet. And uh, people are going to suffer because they will not have jobs. So that means there'll be no money coming in. So we, we have to pray, okay? We have to remember them. We have to bring them before the Lord. Let's put aside our own personal prayers and just begin to go before the Lord on their behalf. Is that okay? In the name of Jesus. Let us go to that place of repentance. Let's go to that place of repentance. Whatever is causing this, I'm not going to speculate. I'm not going to say anything because of this, because of that. At the end of the day, there's lives that are involved. Okay? There are lives which are involved. And this is not going to be, you know, because I said this. I know we're just going to ask the law. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name. So let's just bring everything before the Lord. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we thank you, God. Jesus, we honor your name. Jesus, we lift you up. Jesus, we magnify you because you are our father. You are our daddy. You have made everything possible. You have granted us everything that we need. And Father God, we pray that if we have walked away from your will, then Father, please forgive us and hear our prayers. Father God, forgive us and hear our cry. If we have walked away, Father God, from your purpose, from your assignment, Father God, from that which you've told us to do because of disobedience, Father, we're asking you, Father God, if we repent, then Father, you will find a way to rescue us, Father, from any negativity and from any demonic assignment. God, please help us. Come on, Zion, help us this morning. Help us this morning. Help us this morning. We desire and we need your help. We desire and we want your help. We desire and we seek your guidance. We desire and we want your direction. We desire and we need your way. We desire and we want your help. In the name of Jesus, that is the name that is above all names. Father God, this storm is not superior to the name of Jesus. Father God, this hurricane is not superior to the name of Jesus. Father, this assignment is not superior to the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we're asking 
asking you for your protection. We're asking you for your guidance. We're asking you for your help. Father, in the areas that, Father God, we cannot help ourselves. Father, this is a matter that, Father God, you can bring yourself into and begin to help us in the name of Jesus. Father, you can bring yourself into and begin to direct us in the name of Jesus. Father, you can bring yourself into and begin to pull, Father God, this storm into another direction that, Father, it will not cause any more damage in the name of Jesus. Father, we need your help this morning. Father, those who are in the pathway, those who are in the way, Father, they desire and they need your help. And Father, we are backing them up with prayer. We are backing them up with prayer. We are backing them up with prayer. Oh God, please hear our cry. Oh God, please hear our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus and pay us a visit. Father, rescue somebody who is trapped. Rescue somebody whose property is Father God. Now damage and Father, they don't know what to do. Father, please uh, show up in the name of Jesus just as you did in the days of the disciples where you still the storm, where you calm the storm. In the name of Jesus, Father, this storm is tearing families apart. This storm is destroying livelihoods. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you because, Father God, we know that, Father, you can do and, Father God, you have done it before in the name of Jesus. You have done it before in the name of Jesus. You have done it before in the name of Jesus. You have done it before in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, we mention the names of the places which are Father God. Oh, and the threats, Father, the name that we know, Father God, Cuba. Father, Cuba needs you right now. Father God, we're not coming and Father God, we're not going to worry about political Father God upheaval, but Father God the people, God the people uh, Father God, it's not the politicians that Father God, but the people, it is the people who need you, it is the people who need you, Father God the people of Bahamas need you the people of Florida, Jacksonville Miami, Father God they need you in Jesus mighty name Father, every area that is being affected, any area that Father God has been put down as a place that father this storm is a threat to father we're asking you in the name of jesus we're asking you in the name of jesus we're asking you in the name of jesus we have father we are asking you in the name of jesus to step in god step in holy ghost aren't you the one who created the storm aren't you the one who created the winds Aren't you the one who divided and separated and commanded everything to operate in its position? So, Father, if something is operating outside of its jurisdiction, that means that, Father, it is malfunctioning. That means that, Father, it is malfunctioning. And, Father, we command it to function according to how you have created it to be in the name of Jesus. Father, there is still saints. And, Father, there are still those who believe and know that, Father God, there is still power in prayer. Ah, Jesus still answers prayer. Jesus still answers prayer. Jesus still answers prayer. And we're asking you this morning to answer in the name of Jesus, God. Father, these are poor people. Father, these are poor people. Holy Spirit, these are poor people. Father God, they don't have nothing. Father God, they don't have nothing. Father, the little that they have, Father God, this disaster would damage and would destroy. And so, Father, we're seeking your help. Father, we're seeking your protection. Father, we're seeking your hand. Father God, in the name of Jesus, to guide and to protect Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we feel the pain, and Father, we feel the fear, God, in the name of Jesus, we feel the fear, God. Oh, Holy Ghost, please, Father God, don't annihilate your people. Father God, don't let your people be damaged. But Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, rather we pray that Father, you will show up in Jesus' mighty name. You will show up in Jesus' mighty name. Father, this is going to be a strange week. And Father God, after this week, Father God, some people will be disconnected from us. Some people will begin to feel alone because Father, they'll be unable to pray. But Father God, we believe in the power of prayer. 
prayer. We believe in the power of prayer. And we're asking you this hour to please step in God and begin to bring a cleansing, begin to bring a deliverance, begin to bring a peace be still in this circumstance and in this situation that we find ourselves in the mighty name of Jesus God. Deliver God. Deliver God. Come on Zion, open up your mouth. Begin to deliver God. Begin to set free God. You are the same God who parted the Red Sea. You are the same God who divided up the waters. You are the same God who made a way where there was no way, God. You made a way where there was no way. Father, there was no other way. But Father God, as soon as you showed up, the way came up because Father, you are the one who solves problems. You are the one who solves problems. The God that we serve, you solve problems. And Father, this is a problem that is facing humanity. That no president, no political party can solve. Father God, no human being can handle it. No president can lift up their hands and this storm will be stilled. Father God, no political person can speak a word and the storm will be silenced. Father God, this is the opportunity for us to know that the God that we serve possesses the power because Father, nobody is powerful enough to prevent this thing from coming. All power belongs to you, God. We acknowledge your power this morning. We acknowledge your authority this morning. We acknowledge your authority this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, all power belongs to you. All glory belongs to you. All power belongs to you. All glory belongs to you. All power belongs to you. All glory belongs to you. All power belongs to you. All glory belongs to you. We are safe in the name of Jesus. We are safe in the name of Jesus. Father, find a hiding place. Be a place of shelter. Be a place of shelter. Let them find shelter in you. Father God, let them find shelter in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, those who have run out of gas, Father, those who don't know what to do, Father, those who don't have no mode of transportation, we pray that you will be the shelter that they need in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be the protection that they need in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be the help that they require in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you will be their God. You will be their God. You will be their God even in this season. You will be their God in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your people know that there is still power in prayer. And Father, right now we agree with the body of Christ all over the world who are praying for the saints, who are praying for the saints, who are praying for the saints in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the church of Jesus Christ rise up out of these ashes and be established in Jesus' name. Let the church of Jesus Christ be established in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, peace be still in every direction. Peace be still in every direction. Peace be still in every direction. Arise, O oh God, and demonstrate your power. Arise, O oh God, and show yourself strong. Arise, O oh God, and let deliverance take place in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you've done it before, and we know that, Father God, you will do it again in Jesus' name. For your glory in Jesus' mighty name. Name. For your glory in Jesus' mighty 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 name. For your glory. For your glory. For your glory. For your glory in the name of Jesus. For your glory in the name of Jesus 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 for your glory for your glory for your glory father God this storm will pass father this hurricane will pass in the name of Jesus it will pass in Jesus name 
It will pass in Jesus' name. 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 It will soon pass in Jesus' name. It will pass in Jesus' mighty name. This storm will pass. This storm will pass. The calamity and the catastrophe that is supposed to bring. We silence it in Jesus' name. We reduce the power of this hurricane in the mighty name of Jesus. In Enough is enough. The people have suffered enough. And we bring an end to this now. In the name of Jesus. Come on Zion. Take up this prayer. And begin to pray. Because the Bible says that the kingdom of heaven. It suffers violence. The prince and power of the air. You will not prevail. The assignment of wickedness. You will not prevail. In the name of Jesus. Come on Zion. In the mighty name of Jesus, victory belongs to us. Victory belongs to the people of God. And we've been sleeping for too long. We've been sleeping for too long. Arise, oh God. Arise. Arise, Jesus. Arise, Holy Ghost. Arise every chain that wants to keep us bound. Every invincible chain that is preventing us from declaring that peace be sealed. Let's rise up this hour and decree and declare it. And command it to be established in the name of Jesus. 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 Malalabasia. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, don't you see? It's amazing that the world doesn't have a you know, Normally, there's a solution for these kind of problems. We always seem to have a solution to these kind of problems. If these things don't let you think and recognize that, haha, there is a superior authority. If these things don't let you see that there is a superior authority, then I don't know what else you need to see. In the name of Jesus, right in front of us, looks like it's back to back to back to back. It's not stopping. Today is this. Then tomorrow is another one. Then before you can blink, there's another one. This is an opportunity, my God. This is an opportunity for the church of Jesus Christ to rise up in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is done up, you know, the Lord teaches us throughout, throughout all of these things that don't put your trust in the politicians. Don't think they have the solution. Because if it comes even where they are, guess what? They need to hide too. Do you understand what I'm saying? If it comes to the place where they are, they need to hide too. They need to find a place to take shelter. But the God that we serve. I said the God that we serve. He don't need to take no shelter. He don't need to hide. See when the storm sees him, the storm has to hide. When the storm sees the God that we serve. When the hurricane sees the God that we serve, the hurricane has to behave itself. No wonder why he says, if I be lifted up, if I be lifted up, if I be put in the place that I'm supposed to be, my God, when the hurricane sees Jesus, the hurricane has to come to Jesus' feet and bow. And so we release that name. I said we release that name and we command the hurricane to see the name of Jesus and bow in respect and in reverence. The hurricane needs to worship Jesus, my God. I said the hurricane needs to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Ah, the hurricane needs to bow to the name of Jesus. Mr. Hurricane, Madam Hurricane, whatever you call yourself, my God, we don't recognize your authority. We don't recognize your ability. We don't recognize your voice. 
We command you to desist from bringing calamity and danger and fear into the mouths and into the lives of the people of God. We release a peace be still. We command a peace be still. I said we release a peace be still. And we command a peace be still. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we're tired of bad news. We're tired of negativity. We want to see victory this season. We want to see victory this season. We want to see victory this season. In the name of Yeshua the Christ, the Son of the living God, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you, okay? Every opportunity that you get, rebuke it. Rebuke it. Every opportunity that you get, rebuke it. Rebuke it. Keep on rebuking it in Jesus' name. Keep on rebuking it in Jesus' name. Keep on rebuking it in Jesus' name. In the name of Yeshua the Christ, the Son of the living God. Last night I couldn't come and I was trying to dial in. I don't know. It just wouldn't allow me to call into the prayer line. The devil is a liar. God bless you, saints. Keep doing what you do, okay? Just stay faithful. Stay faithful. In Jesus' mighty name. We are blessed and highly favored. The Lord is our light and our salvation. His name is great. His name is magnificent. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed day, okay? I'll catch you later. God bless you. Bye-bye. Have a blessed day. Stay prayerful. No fear. Those of you in Florida, no fear. We're praying with you, okay? In Jesus' name. God bless you. Bye-bye. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I receive. May God continue to bless me. I receive that. In Jesus' name. Don't be fearful, okay? Those of you in Florida, those of you that are in the way, don't worry about it, okay? We're praying. Just use wisdom. Find a, find a shelter, okay? If you have to, okay, use wisdom. Apply wisdom in this season, okay? God bless you. Bye-bye. I received that. Thank you.